hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our pos system in php so guys in previous video we have seen with the product add and fetch the product details and now guys in this video we are going to do with the product edit and update the product and also with delete the product okay so now guys let's get started so let's move to our editor yep and here we are on the product create.php file so let us copy this complete product create.php file and use for product edit.php okay so let's copy and paste control c v click f2 to edit the file name so here product edit.php i have created it and pasted all that same create form page okay so you can see that this is the form guys all these things are printed now let us get back and go to the products.php and see there over there we have a edit button perfect we have edit button and products edit.php with the parameter id with its value now guys let's get back and view the products refresh let's click on edit so here you find that products edit.php with the id as parameter and value 2 okay second id we have fetched and now guys let's change according to our requirement so now get back to our product edit so first step guys we are going to change the title product edit and the back button it's going to be the same go back to the products page and this is a alert message where you can show the uh, success or failure response and now guys here our form starts so now let us begin with getting the uh, id from your parameter so this is the parameter id we are going to get open php close php dollar param value equal to use a check param id function okay so which we have created in the function dot php so let me just show you so here is a check param id this is a function which we are using to get the data and pass the id whatever you have in the url and now you got your result so we need to check whether this value is numeric or not if it is numeric i mean if it's not numeric then you can echo and tell like something went wrong okay i mean it's not a number false so here add a h5 tag id is not an integer okay so now guys create one variable called product equal to and get by id function used to get the data so give the table name here and then pass your parameter value okay so this is my id it's going inside the product table and getting the data and keeping in this variable so now guys let us see if it is true or false else condition echo like h5 open and close something went wrong and just return false if this product of status is double equal to 200 then you need to show the data else you can mention something went wrong here okay so what is that something went wrong let me just copy this and paste here and let's copy this and paste here okay so whatever you get from the backend and tell here message and now in this if condition if it is true then you are going to show all the form details so that is nothing but your product form so let me minimize this row and you need to separate them let's control x close php and open php after your form and paste the code as simple so everything is uh, arranged guys and now let us open the form and give the data so let me copy this again the product variable so first step guys i am going to fill all the input fields data give a value attribute echo and paste and here you need to mention the column name and this is going to be the data then name okay and now let us copy this and paste for the text area here it's a description column so add description let me copy this for the price 
copy paste price quantity let's change the column name here price again let's copy this and again it's for the image so on this image part we are going to add an image attribute src and paste here and just tell image okay and you need to go one step back because we have set the path something like that okay so go one step back and then get the image here i add a img in the alt tag and now guys coming back to this status let's paste here again and tell status if it is true then you can show checked else null so mention that checked as for the checkbox and here change the button name instead of save product let's make it to update product and here also update now guys let's see the output refresh product details has been come over here and now guys we need to decrease this image and also this select category should be selected by default whether it is device or medicine okay so let's move back so first step i will change the image size here let's add a style attribute and tell width colon of 40 px heig ht colon 40 px that's it and then your category part so now guys we need to do some changes here um let's add that open and close php and yep now what we'll do we'll just control x this complete option tag let's remove the echo part and just paste here okay and let me break this guys so we can echo it correctly so paste here echo php and close semicolon and this value also we need to change in different format so instead of concatenating it we need to php echo and close your paste done okay so now let's break this let's get back refresh okay so we have the data and let's make it to selected as we were discussing on that so first step guys let me copy this value again and echo php and paste that directly is double equal to the category id so this is my category id if this product of category underscore id if matches then you are going to tell selected else null that's it guys give semicolon and now let's see the output refresh so here you see this lano laptop is by default selected on device so let's move back and click on edit for this mi note so here you see that it's on the device perfect so now guys let's write the code to update the data so let's get back so guys before going to update the data you need to add the input box product id input box so let's add that here input which is going to be a type of hidden and give a name attribute and mention that product underscore id and then give a value 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 then echo php and close php and then guys you need to show the data so let me just copy from here copy and paste done and here you are going to mention that id so now guys let us save and let's copy the button name so once this update button is clicked it's going with its update product name and goes to the form action code.php with the method post and also with the file data so guys let's move to this code.php code.php okay let's paste here and check with the help of is set function and with the method post on this button click if it is clicked then you are going to get all the input field names so we have already written the code like while saving the data all the input and file upload so let's copy that guys let's copy this and paste here we paste and now we get all the details but one thing we are missing that is the product id so let me copy and paste here 
and now let's get back to our products edit and copy the product ID input so let's paste here we got this product ID and now guys we need to check the product ID is available or not so it's very simple just add a variable called product data equal to get by ID function type the table name products and then the product ID so product ID so you can just also add if it's not true then return him back okay just use redirect function and tell get back to products dot PHP and mention the message like no such product found okay let's go below and on this image part we need to do some changes guys okay so if you upload a new image then you are going to that path and checking the extension then you are giving a file name and then uploading it but what for uh, the old image you need to remove that so for that you just need to uh, tell delete image equal to okay so here you should go one step back and give the path so I have already stored the path guys image path so you can just copy from that data so your yeah, product data product data of data of image image done so you got the delete image path now you need to check if the file exists okay if it is there or not if like I have not uploaded one image here as you see for this MI note right so we don't have image so we, that is going to check if it's not there then it will ignore if it's there means then it's going to unlink the image okay dollar delete of image so guys if you don't want to upload the image then you are going to keep the same product data so you can just copy this and paste here so this was for the image handling code and now guys let's get below and you need to update the data into our database so first step change this function name to update and give the table name then your ID so what is the ID that is nothing but your dollar product ID okay so product ID and then your input field data so it is same all the input field details and then guys whatever results come you can tell here product updated successfully else something went wrong so in the else or a success message you need to go back to the same page okay I just want to come back to the same page let's copy the complete URL paste here and paste below so now guys this ID is dynamic value so you can just remove that concatenate dollar product underscore ID okay that's it now you have done the coding of update and now guys let us get back refresh so I want to make here change like I have spelling mistake note and update okay let's click to save update so product updated successfully you see that data it has here okay let me change this product from 14 to 15,000 and this is going to be 26 quantity and I'm going to remove this and name correct updated perfect so guys you see that all data is updating and now let's try with the image part let me select the, so here I have one image let's open that and click to update so here you see product updated successfully and the image also have come perfect guys so guys we saw that we have replaced this image right I mean added the image now I want to replace this image with another image and delete this old image okay so let me show you so here are my two product images I want to just delete that and add new image okay so let me just upload any image okay I will upload the same Lenovo image let's click on update so you find that it's updated to again laptop image so you'll be seeing that old MI phone is deleted and added the laptop image right so you need to again let's replace with the correct image and you should be able to delete the old image open and update so here you see 
perfect now you see here that laptop has been deleted and mi is stored perfect guys so guys we have done with the edit and update part and now we need to do with the delete part okay so guys let's get back and move to the code yep let's move to the products.php okay so here is our delete button and i just want to add a confirm and delete so for that guys it's a very simple step let me break this down and yep just on click equal to use the return and confirm function okay are you are you sure you want to delete this image okay save it and now refresh and click here okay it's asking for yes so i'll cancel let me add one dummy record let's click on device ast ast price quantity and select with let me select with this mi image itself and let's click to save so here you find that and now let's write the code to delete this okay and you will find that we have one extra mi image let's get back to the code and yep let's create one file with the name product delete.php let's create a file product delete.php yep it's created and guys whatever code we have used in the category delete so we are going to use the same code for the product delete okay let's get back go to the categories delete.php file copy the complete code and move back to your products delete.php okay and now guys let's change the variables like it is a products delete so instead of category id let's tell product id and change the table name so it's products not categories so here and now come back to product so whatever the status comes for the product you are going to get the product status of 200 if it falls then you are going to show the message okay in the else condition and again redirect back to which page you are going to redirect on the products.php so let's move and just use all the places products.php on the redirect function okay and now guys if you are if your product is found then you are going to delete the product data so here is a query guys so let's use product products table and the product id you will send and delete the data so here once the data is deleted you need to delete the image also product image okay so for that you can just add one um, delete image variable equal to and get the path so just go one step back from this admin dashboard and move to the assets and all its parts so we have already stored the path guys you can just get that from the product variable product of data of image okay so you have the complete path here and just copy now guys let us check whether the file exists or not using the file exists function with the delete image path okay if it's found then you are going to unlink that is called nothing but deleting that file okay once it is deleted you are redirected back and tell that product deleted successfully so now guys let's get back and test the output refresh so let's click on delete yes okay so here you find that data is deleted and we need to see that image also is deleted or not perfect so we had two mi phones one is deleted that is the third image of the product okay so guys we have successfully completed with how to edit and update the product and also delete the product okay so guys let's continue in the next video with the new topic so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share